this rhymes, give you all some similes, nosy brown nose and ninjas, they hardly feeling me, but I get mad love for my auntie Kimberly, yeah, I'm often witty, but often. This is your Auntie Kim coming back at you for the 99 and the 2000s. And yeah, I got some new hair, y'all. <laughs> I went out and um, bought some new hair. Now, before I get this party started, you know, usually I would do some sort of um, makeup, put a little makeup on or whatever. See my little gray? Um, I would do a little makeup and make myself look cute, and then I would do the unboxing. Um, but when I got this hair... I was like, I'm not doing all that fanfare for this shit. And, but I, I figured I would do a review because a lot of people have been um, duped or want to make sure they don't get duped. So I went ahead and said, you know what? I'm going to do an unboxing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send off for the hair and I'm going to do a review so other people understand what they're getting from these places now when you go on instagram and facebook and a lot of these social media websites what you end up getting is you get you, you see a lot of different well hair pages just let me put it out there you see a bunch of hair pages and usually what they have is a couple of bundles of the squiggly hair as the main picture as their default picture and we avoided them motherfuckers at all costs they'll follow us all day long but we won't follow their ass back but I just want y'all to know something that they have now um, evolved. And what they have evolved into, and yeah, I'm coming here in all my rough looking glory. I don't care. You know I'm auntie. Uh, they have evolved. And what these hair pages have done is instead of them just putting the hair out there saying, buy this hair, buy these bundles, their quality, this, that, and the other, buy these wigs, buy this hair, they don't do that no more. What they do is they go to YouTube and they take a video from some unsuspecting YouTuber that's doing a wig review of like one of these actual reputable hair hair um hair and weave companies that are based here in America. Okay? And oh, let me say this too. A lot of these companies are from overseas, Japan, China, whatever. And what they're doing is they're taking the video of a reputable YouTuber that does reviews on wigs, makeup, and such. And they'll use it as their commercial to sell these wigs. So they're no longer just putting the bundles up there. They're putting videos of girls finding these gorgeous wigs. And a lot of these wigs come... And um, beautiful shades, beautiful textures, nice styles that you may have to do a couple of things to it to spiff it up. And then you got a hairstyle. Um, these are not they. These are not they. Um, what they're doing is they have a warehouse full of these cheap looking wigs, these cheap ass weaves, these cheap ass bundles, and they don't know what to do with them. So they're doing a bait and switch. And what they're doing is they're sending these wigs that we wouldn't normally buy. Okay. So first thing first, I decided to buy this wig from myfavoritewigs.com. <laughs> I'm just playing. That's where I got my wig from. And when you see the video for this wig, it looks like you just sling it on. Finger it a couple of times. I know that sounded nasty, but finger it a couple of times. Finger it a couple of times. And do a little white girl sling and you ready to go. So I was like, yeah, I'm finna get that some bitch. It's finna be on and popping. And then I... Let me tell you, well, I would just tell you about the hair, but let me, let me waste your time a little bit. Number one, you can't track the shit. You send, you pay your money, which I paid it through PayPal, which is the best way to do it. Pay it through PayPal because you don't want nobody knowing your, your, your banking information from overseas. But anyway, I paid for it through PayPal and they send you this bogus tracking number that you cannot track it. 
when you track it, you, they send you to this website called 17 track dot something. And it looks like a handmade website they put together 15 minutes before you made your order. And the tracking gives you little to no information about nothing other than that you ordered it. And even if you give it the allotted time for it to show up as to what you've ordered. The day I got my package, it still gave me no information on the website. So don't go by that tracking number because they send that shit to you and you just hope you get it. So first I'm going to show you what I ordered. Now, y'all see what I picked, right? You see how cute that hair is, right? Now, don't you think that'll look good on your ragged ass auntie? Me? Okay, let me show you what they sent me. This. This look like some damn Rapunzel hair. What the fuck am I going to do with this? Huh? What the fuck am I going to do with this anime cosplay wig? Huh? This is this is some Rapunzel black Goldilocks ass bullshit. This is not like that on the video. Number one, it got this swirl in the top. That wig don't have this swirl in the top. So, I, and then, let's turn it inside out because they say inside it got this. Okay. Let me see what they got on the website. What they got on the website is totally different. I don't know what the hell is going on. Let me buckle it. Let me buckle myself up for this ride. But it's not, it's, it's just a long wig that look like I'm going to have some curls in the back of my head. That is not like on that video. Y'all seen that video. This is not that. And then the texture of the hair is like doll hair. I don't like them kind of wigs. Them kind of wigs stink. It smells like doll hair. It smells like motherfucking doll hair. And I'm a little upset. But I'm I'm not going to go off yet. I'm not going to go off yet. Let me pull this fucking tag off. Oh. Don't. Hey. Let me not. I'm not going to give up on it yet. I'm going to go through the changes. But this is not that. This shit here. I can't stand that. Because you can never get it to lay down. When you're doing your hairstyles. And nothing. Okay. Now. Let me find the front of this wig. I don't know where the front of this wig is. Now, in the back, it, of course, it got the clips. The two clips there. And I'm guessing this is the top. Ugh, I don't even know. I guess this is the temples, where the temples go. And this is the front. Do you see this? Do you see this shit here? I don't even know what this crease is. But it's not. Let me look at that picture again. Oh. That, that wig is so gorgeous. I don't even understand how she gets that part there. Because if you look at it, this is the front of the wig. There is no part there. So unless I got to pluck it within an inch of its life, I'm just going to put it on. And then I'm going to go style it. And then I'm going to come back to y'all to do a before and after. So, okay, let me put this motherfucker on. Uh, you know my afro. I should break my hair down, but I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Now, I'm going to put this wig on and I'm going to be living. I know I'm not the best uh, wig review because this is not my forte. Because usually when I buy wigs, I try to buy already ready wigs. <laughs> What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> uh, uh, this is not it. <laughs> I'm gonna call this shit while y'all on here. While y'all on here laughing at y'all. Oh, 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 mm. oh, this is not.
not that hair. Uh, oh, this is not that hair. Well, hey, wait a minute now. Let me let me let me calm down for a second. Cause this hair is soft. It's like a fresh new baby doll. Uh, it's like a fresh baby doll. But honey. <laughs> This is not this is this is not it. This this is not it. Cause I show up the phone how I like did. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm supposed to focus. Okay. Okay. Number one. <sighs> Double chin showed up strong tonight. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to comb it like the girl does in the video in the, the many different curls, but this is not it. I don't know if I'm supposed to... Am I supposed to cut it? Okay, now I know she got this part laying down, like laying down, like laying down. This is not it. This is so not it. This is some bullshit. Uh. And then when I try to curl it, that shit curl up too fucking hard. Do I'm supposed to? And then this side. Oh, let me look at some pictures. She cut this wig. She had to have cut. She cut this wig. That's what she did. I got to cut this wig. And when I get to cutting hair. Oh, this is just too much. This is not the wig. This is not it. Because, like, you see, this is supposed to come down and... Uh -huh. I don't even know how she had it. But this ain't it. Bitch, this ain't it. This some bullshit. I don't even wear... This some... My hair, this wig look like, look like I'm the Black Sally Struggles. Taking food from African kids. That's what this look like. This look like, oh, uh, this got me looking like, don't bring me no bad news. No bad news, no bad news, no bad news, no bad news. Don't you bring me no bad You know, that's what this is. This ain't it, y'all. That What they telling you with these wigs. Now, now, let me tell you something. My wig was like, how, how much my wig was? Let me see how much I paid for this shit. <coughs> I paid twenty nine dollars for this weed, and um, what it looks like I'm gonna have to do right. It looks like I'm gonna have to do a hundred percent work on this motherfucker. Now, back in the day, I was a hairdresser. See this shit? This shit is too fucking. This shit is too fucking tight, and I don't even know if I could take a damn. If I can't even. If I can't even uh take a hot curler or or flat iron to this bitch and it melt in between the prongs, I know a little something. These folks, and they ain't gonna take the wig back then because you've been unfucked it up. Ain't no way this is that same wig. This make me look like <laughs> James Brown up in this bitch. Oh. So I'm gonna take this L for y'all. I'm gonna take this L for y'all. And I'm gonna look through Instagram and all them other websites. And I'm gonna get all the names of them different little wig pages. So y'all get an idea of um what these motherfuckers is doing for y'all. I can't say there's no bad hair. But I know one thing, it ain't it ain't it ain't what they you buying on that page. The only way is if you buy the wig 
one of them straight crinkle wigs, but I still seen a page where somebody bought that and that motherfucker like look like somebody ripped the hair off of a cat. Or a shaggy dog that was minding his own business and somebody just <laughs> ripped that shit off their ass. But this is not it. This is not motherfucking it. I look like my name Shirling. I look like my name is Maybelline. I look like my name is Mabel. Auntie Mabel. I look like my hair was done during the 70s. With them big pink rollers and a bottle of Lottie Batty. This is that bullshit. I can't do nothing with this. This is not from this era. Just because I was born in 1969, yes, I'll be 50 this year, doesn't mean I want that hairstyle. I don't want that hair from that era. I don't know whether to take this bitch off or wear it tomorrow to, to, to pass out Watchtower, Watchtower magazines. I look like a Jehovah's Witness. Let me look back at this. It says 2019 new shortwave bar. This is not motherfucking it. That that girl's wig is cut and plucked. Put you like this. I'm going to cut and pluck this wig and I'm going to come back. And if I come back and my shit look like that girl's, then I'm a, I, then y'all got a little fun fun in the beginning, but now I'm coming back snatching edges. You know what I'm saying? Um but y'all pray for me. Two hours later. This ain't it. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with this. This shit is like a newborn Philippine baby. They got a roller set. Straight out the womb. I don't know what kind of hair this is, but it ain't manageable. You can't put no heat to it. I, I feel like James Brown's cousin. What the fuck am I supposed to? And, and look, look, let me tell you something. This wig is on the way it's supposed to be. It got the, the, the little clasp in the back. It got the little bridge right here for your hairline. So I didn't put it on backwards. It ain't on upside down. It ain't back satchwards. I put it on right. Let me tell you, I, I, I started cutting the hair to try to make it resemble the video. Uh, that shit failed uh, miserably. Um, the bang came out cute for a hot second. And then it disappeared into something. I don't know. I don't know whether this is my. Oh. I don't know whether to call this this wig the Johnny Mathis. I don't know what this is. And just, just to let y'all know. When y'all see these little pages pop up on Facebook and Instagram, and the girl is smiling, and her hair is all beautiful and shit. These folks know what they're doing. And see, the thing about it is with wigs, wigs ain't like shoes, where you could, you don't have to try them on at the store. You take it home, you say, well, I'm a size nine and a half. I'm going to put this nine and a half in the bag, and I'm going to take it home. And you try on the nine and a half. You put that some bitch on, and it don't fit right, because, you know, you got a wide-ass club foot. And you just knew you were going to shove your club foot into these sexy, thin stilettos. They don't fit. Okay, well, I'm just going to take it back and get my refund. You can't do that shit with wigs. Because, number one, to see if a wig is going to be be for you, you got to comb through that shit. And you got to try to style it. And you got to try to do things with it. 
to make it seem like it's going to do something in your life. You know, it's going it's going to make you feel like you're going to get that mortgage or you're going to get that new boyfriend or or you're going to pay off that loan. You want a wig that's going to make you want to get up and go to the club in it and show people you know what you you know your purchase was worth it. This ain't that. I don't know what to do with this shit. And I was trying to trim it up a little bit and style it. Mind you, I am a stylist. I know how to do hair. And I know how to cut hair. And I know how to, you know, you know, you do your little thing like this. And you, you, you snip, you know. The more I did it, the, the more wild this motherfucker looked. I don't know what this is. It ain't nothing I can do with this shit. I can't do nothing but use this as a, a, a stunt wig. I can use it for cosplay. Um, but stop going. Don't don't y'all don't go on these websites. Go to a reputable website. Go on YouTube, and you see the little girls on there doing videos, and they tell you where they got that wig from. That way, you know what you're getting. But on these websites. That are now popping up. All they are is web pages that are changed from just putting them little strings of weave on there to showing a video of a girl with some gorgeous hair and doing all kinds of stuff. This hair is a mess. I can't do nothing with this. I can't. I can't. Ain't. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I look like Lord Farquhar off of damn Shrek. With a roller set. I can't do nothing with this shit. I look like Alfalfa. I feel like Alfalfa up in this bitch. I look like my name on Shirley. Gertrude, Bertha, Boomshika, Griselda. I feel like I got a purse full of peppermints. This damn wig make me feel like I'm going out for milkshakes at the damn roller rink. Oh, this is so 1940s. I feel like I got 400 baby pictures pressed in the Bible. I feel like my name, Ernestine. Somebody wore this wig in Game of Thrones. I want to fight somebody. I wish I could mail myself back where this wig came from and whoop they motherfucking ass. Y'all better be glad y'all live overseas, bitch. And I ain't got nothing but a kill with half a tank of gas in that bitch right now. But I'm telling y'all, beware. Do not buy them wigs off these websites that are popping up now that's giving you all these wigs that should be $100 to $200 for $25 for $30. Don't get them motherfuckers. If you slip up and get a good one, then you then good for you, boo-boo. But, honey, they is duping, folks. Some of them pages is not on the up and up. And the one I got it from, hold on, which, which one I got it from? I got it from, uh, hold on. MyFavoriteWigs.com. Don't use that shit. That... You might be able to get one off of you wig. I, I'm not sure. Some people said that they got some good hair off of there. But I don't trust that shit because sometimes the motherfuckers be posting for themselves to make you think they is somebody that got a good wig. But it really ain't nobody. But them them little pages that's been popping up. I love hair and my favorite wigs.com. You, you wig. Don't do it. Don't do it. I look like Louise Jefferson on this bitch. The hell? 
I just want to cry. I'll be okay. Y'all pray for me. This is your auntie trying to give you what's real. This ain't going to do it. Pray for me.